Good morning, friends, and I hope you're well. This is your daily devotional for Monday, February 27, 2023. This is Pastor Tim from North Modesto Church of God. I want to talk with you today about temptation from Luke chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. Satan says to Jesus in the wilderness to command these stones to become bread. Jesus quotes from Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 3, Man shall not live by bread alone. What can we learn from this incident? Here's the first thing. Jesus doesn't have a Bible with him. He doesn't have a scroll with him. He has scripture memorized. In fact, three times he'll quote from Deuteronomy. If Jesus needed Deuteronomy, you and I need Deuteronomy. Perhaps because that's because every day of his life, morning and evening, he would have quoted from, yes, Deuteronomy 6, you shall love the Lord your God. So let's learn this first. You face temptation like Jesus did by having scripture memorized. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. It says from Psalm 119. Here's the second thing, that Jesus has the power to sift through Scripture, that like a mental concordance, when Satan talks about bread, he can come to a Scripture about bread. Maybe we have too much loose or miscellaneous information in our minds. Maybe we can't sift through Scripture to come to the right passage at the right time. Triumph over temptation by Scripture memorized, being able to sift through scripture to apply it. Here's the third thing. When Jesus quotes from Deuteronomy about bread, he's in a topic the Bible talks a lot about. So you may remember that God provided bread in the wilderness in the book of Exodus chapter 16. That God provided bread or food for Elijah and multiplied it for Elisha. You might even remember that Jesus later on will twice multiply bread for crowds, once of 5,000, once of 4,000. Jesus is going to eat bread again. God the Father is going to provide bread for him again. Let's add a couple of other things to that. First of all this, that this is not a temptation to be a materialistic messiah as I read one writer say. No, no, that's something that's easy for us to say who have 19 or 29 different types of bread to choose from at a grocery store. If you're part of a nation where people starve because they don't have bread, like Jesus was, then materialism is not something you just push off. You need bread to live. In fact, in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus would say, give us this day our daily, remember, bread. People had too little bread. That's why they starved. That's why they ran out of it. No, it's not a temptation of materialism because this body is material. And the communion elements are material. And my neighbor is a real person, a material person, we could say. No, here's how I would see the temptation. This is the temptation to do the right thing at the wrong time. God is going to, in the future, provide bread for his son, Jesus. Jesus is tempted to jump the gun, to make the bread himself, which God will eventually give him. To do something that is a decent thing, a proper thing, an appropriate thing, but not at the right time. Sort of like words we say. It might be an appropriate word at a different time, but is it the appropriate word at this time? Or an action we might do. Might be the appropriate action at a different time, but is it the appropriate action at this time? This is a temptation to jump God's timing. I quoted Warren Wiersbe the other night that too often we're into scheming rather than waiting. This is Jesus trusting the Father for the Father's timing. The Father is not going to let the son starve. Jesus is going to have his bread. Not this time, not this way. That tells me part of life, part of walking with God, part of learning the, word, learning the Lord's ways is discovering 
what's the time and what's the way for something. So, scripture memorized. Scripture is sifted through. And the timing of God, very, very clear. But again, how fascinating. A temptation about bread, and Jesus can pull out the scripture that mentions bread. We have a lot to learn in conquering temptation from Jesus. There's so much at stake. No temptation is overtaking you, such as common to all people. But God, it says in 1 Corinthians 10, will provide the way of escape. Let this be an encouragement to learn all the scripture you can. Listen to our devotionals. Come Wednesday night. Come to church on Sunday. Take some notes. Not just read your Bible, but dive into it deeply. And you'll find yourself triumphing over temptation in the process. God bless you as you serve him. Seek first the kingdom of God. Always read your Bible and pray every day. Come to church regularly. I look forward to seeing you soon. This is Pastor Tim Dwyer, North Modesto Church of God. God bless you.